So you're looking at the data in your GE4 report and you see this. In this video, I will explain what is other in Google Analytics 4 and what are the possible solutions. So this other issue is related to a term called cardinality. Cardinality basically refers to how many unique values does a dimension have. For example, here in this report, I have a dimension that is device category and it has three unique values. So this is considered a low cardinality dimension. However, there might be situations where a dimension has a lot of unique values. For example, page location might have a lot of values because maybe the page itself has tens of thousands of unique pages. In Google Analytics, if a dimension has more than 500 unique values per day, that is considered a high cardinality dimension. Because GA4 tries to aggregate the data in order to speed up the reports, there are certain limitations when it comes to the size of the table. Unfortunately, Google does not fully disclose what those limitations are because they say this depends on various factors and nuances. Anyway, if your report uses a dimension that has a lot of unique values, there is a chance that rows containing a lot of unique values will be combined or condensed into a single row called other. So instead of displaying all unique rows, Google Analytics in this case decides to group them together. This is especially important to know if you are relying a lot on custom dimensions that can be of high cardinality. So what are the potential solutions to avoid this problem in the first place? And then if this problem occurs, what can you do next? So first of all, try to avoid custom dimensions that have a lot of unique values. For example, you might be tempted to send user IDs with every event. But if you have, let's say, 5,000 logged in users per day, this means that the cardinality of that dimension will be 5,000. And I'm talking about just one day. The same applies to other situations such as session ID or client ID or maybe event timestamp or maybe something else. So try to avoid those. Even if your report is not using a high cardinality dimension like I do right here, it can still be affected because somewhere in the background when the table is aggregated, that custom dimension with a lot of unique values is still affecting your underlying data. So using high cardinality custom dimensions is definitely not a good idea. Then another situation might be related to unique query parameters. For example, every time someone clicks a link on Facebook and that link redirects visitors to your site, those links are decorated with the FBCL ID parameter. And for every click, that link will be different. What does it mean is that dimensions such as page location will have a lot of unique values, actually way too much, even though the number of unique pages is much lower. For example, in this report, we see one page view here and the other one right here. Both of these pages are the same page. However, they are displayed as two different page locations because the FBCL value is different. So to avoid situations like this one, you should consider excluding query parameters from the page location. If you want to learn how to do that, I have a tutorial and I will post a link to it below the video. In that video, I show how to exclude unwanted query parameters with help of Google Tag Manager. So the previous two tips were a solution to avoid the other issue or to avoid high cardinality. But what if you already have that issue? What can you do then? The next step is related to Google BigQuery. It's not for everyone because Google BigQuery has a pretty steep learning curve and also it requires SQL knowledge. But if you or someone in your company has this knowledge, then BigQuery is definitely something to consider. So what do I mean here is that you can connect BigQuery to your Google Analytics 4 property. And you can do that by going to admin and here go to BigQuery links and then connect your BigQuery project with GA4. Then from that moment, Google Analytics will start also sending data to your BigQuery. And that data is in its raw shape, meaning that it will not be affected by cardinality because high cardinality is the result of how Google Analytics interface 
tries to aggregate data. So if you plan to use BigQuery, you can still use a lot of unique parameters. For example, here I'm setting event time, which will send the timestamp in milliseconds to Google Analytics. So this means that this parameter will be also sent to Google BigQuery as well. But as long as you don't create this event time as a custom dimension in GE4, your standard reports in GE4 will not be affected. And in BigQuery, you will be able to see and use the values of this particular event parameter. Because remember, high cardinality and this other issue is caused by registering high cardinality parameters as custom dimensions in GE4. However, if you already have this other issue in your reports, which is caused by high cardinality dimensions, then try to carefully think of how you use Google Analytics. Because based on the documentation of Google Analytics, by the way, I will post a link to it below the video. So if in the standard reports, you also add a secondary dimension, you also have comparisons, you also add filters, that will cause the probability of this other issue appearing in your reports. So if the high cardinality issue appears, try to simplify your report. I know that's not always possible, but if it is possible, then think about it and try to simplify it. When the report is affected by cardinality, you might see this warning right here. So you should click it and then the warning will say something about condensed data, meaning that the report will also include the other row. In that case, another option that you could try to explore is to create an exploration. So create an exploration and then see if this, at least to some extent, helped to solve your problem. Also, if you are a user of Google Analytics 4 360, then you will have some additional features. First of all, the cardinality limits are higher for paying users. But if that also does not help, then there is another feature for paying users, which is called expanded data sets. If you want to learn more about it, I will post a link to it below the video. But basically, if you see this warning, you will also get this option to expand the data set and to reduce the impact of data cardinality. And now you are familiar with cardinality in GE4, what it means, and how to reduce its impact. If you found this video useful, hit the thumbs up button below the video. That will help me understand what videos do you like and what should I create in the future. Also, if you want to learn more about Google Tag Manager or Google Analytics 4, then consider subscribing to this channel. My name is Julius, this is Analytics Mania, and I'll see you in the next video.